Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Myself Dr. Naga Prashant and in this video we are going to see how to calculate percentile. Whenever you observe a rank chord of GPAD, there we can see three components. The rank, which is also called as AIR, that is All India Rank. The second one is Total Marks Scored and the third one is Percentile. These three metrics will be mentioned in your GPAT rank card. AIR, it's very clear what is the all India rank and total marks code, it is also clear. And coming to this percentile, what is this percentile and how it can be calculated? That is what we are going to see in this present video. Dear GPAT aspirants, Please be aware that percentile can be calculated by using two different types of formulas. Whatever the formula we are using, the result is same. The first formula is going to be percentile is equal to number of values below X divided by total number of values multiplied by 100. Whereas the second formula is percentile is equal to 100 minus rank of the candidate divided by total number of values into 100. As I said earlier, whatever the percentage, uh, whatever the formula you are using, the percentile, what you are getting is going to be the same. That is, the result is same. I can understand even after seeing these two formulas, a bit confusion may be there. That's why I'm going to show you a small demo by applying both the formulas. Let us see the first formula. That is, percentile is equal to number of values below x divided by total number of values into 100. For this demonstration purpose, I am using a small set of data. Where, in, as per this data, 10 number of candidates has appeared this examination and these are the marks and which are uh, arranged in descending order. Now, let us try to calculate the percentile of this particular person who got 420 marks and who is in fourth position. With this data, let us start applying the formula. As per this, percentile is equal to number of values below x. As we are considering this particular candidate as x, we have to calculate how many number of candidates are below this particular candidate. So, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. There are total 6 candidates below this particular candidate for whom we are calculating percentile. So, 6 divided by total number of values. So, total numbers are 10. So, 6 divided by 10 into 100. And it is going to be 0 0.6 into 100. And the result is 60. So, the percentile of this particular candidate is 60. Now, let us try to see or apply the second formula. Applying the second formula also, I am using the same data set. Same numbers and same marks and same descending order. The formula, that is second formula, is going to be 100 minus rank of the candidate divided by total number of values into 100. Now, let us try to calculate the percentile of the same candidate who got 420 marks and who is at fourth position. Let us start executing the formula. Percentile is equal to 100 minus fourth rank, so 4 divided by total number of candidates or 10, so 4 divided by 10 into 100. It is going to be 100 minus 0 0.4 into 100 and it's nothing but 100 minus 40 and so the ultimate results is 60. As you see, in both type of formulas, the percentile of this particular person is 60 only. Hope you understood how the percentile is calculated. If you like the content of this video, please do comment, share and subscribe our channel. Dear GPAT aspirants, all the best for your GPAT examination and thank you for watching.